Have you heard of the master cleanse? Perhaps you're tempted to do this to lighten up a little bit, clean house, maybe even feel better. I'm Dr. Mary Shackleton, practicing naturopathic doctor for 15 years in Boulder, Colorado. If I hear one more patient tell me that they've done the master cleanse for 7, 10, or 21 days, I might scream. The master cleanse is the practice of using water, lemon juice, maple syrup, and cayenne pepper exclusively for days on end. People instinctively want to detox. They know their environment is toxic. They know they're toxic but they often are grasping at straws as to actually what to do. In fact, religions of all kinds have encouraged purification or cleansing of some sort. The truth is, in modern day, we want to detox, but we have to be smart about it. This is a shout out to the celebrities who do the master cleanse. People watch what you do, and if you do it, they think it's safe. But here are the big problems with this approach to detoxification. Problem number one, detoxification is not achieved by eliminating foods. Nutrient-dense foods fuel phase one and phase two detoxification in the liver. Without these foods, both of these phases shut down and toxins remain in the system. Toxins are reabsorbed rather than eliminated. This is the opposite of what we want to do. On the contrary, the master cleanse keeps toxins right where they are in your fat cells. Toxins need to hitch a ride out of your body and dietary fat facilitates this. Problem number two, the master cleanse doesn't teach people how to do detoxification on an ongoing basis. The truth is, detoxification is not just for sick people anymore. We all need to be thinking about detoxing on a day-to-day -day basis. Detoxification is an ongoing need. As our toxic burden rises, we need to be persistent in our lifestyle choices to support detoxification. Let's call the master cleanse a digestive break. It really does help people feel better and more energetic, but it's not because they're eliminating toxins. Those things are great, but eventually most people are gonna go back to what they were doing before they did the master cleanse. Problem number three, bowel function stops on the master cleanse. So when you're losing weight, toxins are being liberated from your fat cells, being introduced into your system, are recirculated, eventually winding up in the bowel. If your bowel has stopped because you're not eating food, those toxins then get recirculated and put right back where you pulled them out from. Problem number four, we did not accumulate toxins in seven, 10, or 21 days. And it's unrealistic to expect that we can get them out of our body in that amount of time too. It takes time and persistence and a commitment to your health to detoxify. Problem number five, the master cleanse is not a good weight loss plan. I'm always scanning my patient's intentions when they say they wanna do a, a cleanse. What they're mostly looking for is weight loss when they want to do a detox. And often celebrities will say they want to drop a quick five pounds and they'll do the master cleanse. But these are two very opposite intentions. Weight loss eliminates fat cells, which is where our toxins are stored. They're reintroduced into the system. And as we know, the bowel function slows down or stops on the master cleanse. So what ends up happening is we reabsorb these toxins from our bowel. If we're losing weight and our toxins are emerging from their storage places, but our detox pathways are unsupported, we're getting more toxic. Two steps forward and one back. Instead of taking such drastic measures to detoxification, what I encourage my patients to do is to do simple things day to day to encourage detoxification. Number one, eliminate certain foods, not all foods, sugar, caffeine, alcohol, foods from packages with refined ingredients, pesticides, preservatives, trans fats, and high fructose corn syrup. Once you remove all of those foods from your diet, it leaves a big space for all the healthy foods that support detoxification. This might sound easy to do, but it's actually not. Once you get good at this, you're ready to move on to a more assertive detoxification plan. Number two, include seven servings of nutrient-dense foods every day, such as brightly colored fruits and vegetables, berries, kale, broccoli, oranges, carrots, red bell pepper, anything with a lot of pigment is gonna have a lot of phytochemicals. These phytochemicals support both phase one and phase two detoxification in the liver. Number three, drink water. When I ask my patients if they drink enough water, nine out of 10 of them say not enough. Shoot for about three liters of water per day, more if you exercise. This helps flush toxins from the kidneys, through the bowel, watch for changes in your skin, your energy, and even those mild daily headaches might go away. And number four, most people want to do something to feel like they're on a detox. Drink detox tea. And I'm talking about the kind that you can buy at the health food store. These generally have a nice blend of herbs that support lymphatic, 
drainage, liver, su liver support, and kidney support. Two to three cups a day will help you continue to detox on an ongoing basis. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos that are going to help you learn how to detoxify safely using nutrients and herbs.